Have you gotten to know each other now? Are you getting a sore throat? Are you getting a temperature? Are you feeling like you're coming down with something? Well, you are. You're coming down with community, and God bless you for it. Now, what's going to take place in this country next week is vitally important. This is the most important election in the history of Australia. We have been taken under control from people who did not get a mandate at the polls to do so. People like McGowan, people like Morrison, you know them. Does anyone, is anyone here in favour of giving our constitution to the United Nations if there's another pandemic? No. Did you vote for that? No. Are you going to vote for the people who are in agreement with that? No. Are you going to vote for the people who've shelved the Australian Commonwealth Constitution and made it into toilet paper for the last two years? No! It has to end. And listen, I don't know how this is all going to pan out. I want to say this to you, and it's really, really important that you get this. You have to understand the power that is within you. You have to understand that your truth is your truth and you're entitled to it. And you have to understand that Germany in the 20s and 30s, they were looking for a hero and they picked that off Hitler. Don't pick out heroes. The hero lives in you. You are my heroes. Each and every one of you. Put your hand up if you've heard of Hoodie's heroes. Unbelievable. Well, let me tell you, Hoodie's Heroes is not me, it's you. Because anyone who stands up, anyone who puts boots on the ground, even anyone who gets vaccinated to put bread on the table for their family, even though they're putting their lives at risk, to me is a hero. I'm not against anybody who's made a decision. This is not about that. This is about freedom of choice. And I know one man in particular that was broken hearted that he was coerced into doing it, but he felt he had no option. And I said to him, you'd take a bullet for your family, wouldn't you? And he said, I would. And I said, well, you just did. And you're not a coward, you're a hero. So if we're going to be in the community that we are desperate to build with Hoodies Heroes, we have to dump all the stuff that segregates and divides. We have to fill ourselves with the spirit of Christ. We have to remember that the cross symbolises the spirit of Christ and sacrifice. There are 100,000 white crosses on, on foreign battlefields commemorating Australians who died so we wouldn't have to rally. And there's a, there was a cross on a hill outside Jerusalem that signified the same thing. Greater love had no person than to lay down their life for their friends. And that's what's happened. So what are we going to do with that sacrifice? Are we going to sit at home and watch My Kitchen Stinks and listen to David Koch, Carl Stefanovic, we're not. Every time we do that, we push the toilet button on the sacrifices that were made for our country and our freedoms, and we're not going to do that anymore. So make your vote count. And don't ever forget what was given for you to have that vote, and don't waste it. Do not waste it. This is your time, Australia. Western Australia is the heart of wealth in this country in so many ways, but it's controlled by people who occupy the top floors of those buildings. They don't have the right to put you out of work. Put your hand up if you're unemployed. Now look at, for those of you who are looking at us thinking we're all weird, put your hands up again. These are everyday Australians, your brothers and sisters, and when you think everything's going back to normal, I don't want you to forget these hands, because that's why we're here. They collected the crippled, the wounded and maimed and they shipped them back home to Australia. The armless, the legless, the blind and insane, all the brave wounded heroes of Suva. And as the ship pulled in the circular key, I stared at the place where my legs used to be. I thank Christ there was nobody waiting for me to grieve and to moan and to pity. And the band played waltzing Matilda as they carried us down the gangway. And nobody cheered, they just stood there and stared and then turned their faces away. 
And now every April I sit on my porch and I watch the parade pass before me. I see my old comrades, how proudly they march, reliving old dreams and past glories. But the old men march slowly, their bones stiff and sore. They're tired old men from a tired old war. And the young Aussies ask, what are they marching for? For this. And I ask myself the same question. And the band played waltzing Matilda. And the old men, they answered the call. And year after year, those old men disappear. Soon no one will march there at all. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you come a waltzing Matilda with me. And their ghosts may be heard as they pass by the billabong. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Lest we forget. God bless you. Vote well, vote wise. Thank you. The champion here of Australia, Graham Hoodie, come on, give it up for him!